guys, this is Charlie from Sister Sis and this is Ace from Ace Got Talk. Today we're just going to be elaborating on a topic that me and Tan were discussing earlier. Um, talking about soulmates and soul ties. So it's always good to have a male perspective on certain topics. So Ace, what is your take on a soulmate or what is a soulmate? Well, due to my personal experience, I find that words can be very, very misleading. Mm -hmm. And very commonly, we all use the same words, but have completely different definitions yeah. or understandings of the meaning of the words. Mm -hmm. So, for example, we often use words like soulmate. Yes. And often in relationships, couples can be together mm -hmm. and they can say, you know, you know, I'm looking for my soulmate, you know, I'm looking for my soulmate. But do people really sit down and ask each other, well, what's your definition of a soulmate? I personally don't think a lot of people do have this discussion. I think they have, as you said, their own definitions and they go into situations with that. Um, as you know, we think that, me and Tam personally, we believe that a soulmate is someone who is a mate, a friend to your soul. Friends don't always come with all positive Sometimes they trigger things in you to get you to be a better person or to push you, to inspire you. Um, so everyone's definition is definitely different. I think some people think soulmate is more physical, the attraction side of things. Um, but I think there's a lot more emotions and a lot more psychological stuff that goes into being right for a person, whether it's that point in life or long term. There's definitely a lot more than just the physical side of things. Mm. See, I understand where you're coming from, but where I struggle is because everybody has different definitions okay. of the same words, yes. when you're discussing a topic like that, it's very individual because my understanding could be completely different from yours. Yes. So we're both talking about the same thing, soulmate, but because we have completely different understandings of what a soulmate is it, it, sometimes it can be hard to find that middle ground it can can be it can be hard to be perceived with the information that's being given out hard to comprehend um i think the crux of it however you look at it is the same it's someone who comes into your life to do something to do with your soul your purpose or what have you um However you look at it, then the add-ons or the take-offs will be slightly different. Mm. But the, for the basic part of it, it's someone that's going to come in your life to do to help you along your soul journey. And mm. um, as for soul ties? Soul ties are more, for me, it's the entanglements. There's a lot of chemistry that happens in life. There's a lot of physical attractions, a lot of this, oh yeah, I think he's the one, but it's the physical attraction. So there's definitely a soul tie throughout life, whether you believe, how deeply you believe in spirituality, I don't know. People come into this specific life with soul ties from past lives anyway, that are supposed to come back into your life to do certain things along your journey. Oh, you're gone, Lessa. You're gone, Lessa. <laughs> I, you're think gone I can stay surface or I can go deep. Right, <laughs> stick a pin in it because, stick a pin because just before you said that, I, had, I was queuing up a question for you because I know um, in the earlier pod mm -hmm. you mentioned soul mates and soul ties. Yes. And I was thinking to myself, well, how do you define the difference? That was the, the question I was going to ask you is how do you, and where do you get that point of reference from to say, well, this is a soul tie? Um, throughout years of research, that's spiritual research, uh, religious research, that's literature. I'm not a religious person, mm -hmm. I'm an ominist, so I, I can see the truth in just about everything. I'm into metaphysics, um, so I can see where energy kind of incorporates from all different angles. For me, the definition is a soul tie is more like an energy entanglement. They can happen every day of the week. You could go online and see someone and be attracted to them and your souls are now tied. Now you want to be messaging this person, DMing this person or whatever. That's not a soulmate. Your souls are tied in some way now because of some kind of attraction, some kind of spark, some kind of chemistry. The soulmate goes a lot deeper than that surface level. That's just my take. I'll clear that. <laughs> Interesting. So... You mentioned when it comes to soul ties, they can be from previous 
experience, previous lives, previous experiences. Yeah. Do you want to break that down? Um, we come into life as energy, obviously. We are in reincarnated, energy never dies, as some of us know. So we've encountered people in this life that we may have encountered in past lives. We have taken karmic debts on um, that we have to come to this life and fulfill. That may be fulfilling a certain emotional contract, fulfilling a certain type of relationship contract, a parenting contract, but these are all things that we've already come into this life with. Then these people come along our journeys, our soul ties and our soul mates to help us along these journeys, fulfill our purposes. That's my take on it, anyway. <laughs> okay, interesting. Well, thank you very much, man. Really, really appreciate it. You're welcome.